Red Balloon Rock Talk. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Bark and Jim from Lead Balloon Rock Talk, and this is our Pick of the Week show. And it's going to be a real quick one for you all, but hopefully you'll like the bands we've chosen. Um, we're going to start off real quick with me and move over to Jim. So here it is. My Pick of the Week is Cage the Elephant. I chose Cage the Elephant because I really think they're a really interesting band to listen to. Uh, they have a lot of cool sounds and genres. I want to kind of lay it out like that. Um, from their first album all the way to the newest one that just put out is very, very different in their, their stylistic approach and musicality wise. Um, some people won't classify them as an alt band. Um, if you want to do that, that's fine. Maybe they call themselves an alt band. I just call them rock and roll. Uh, but I want to talk about uh, the, their first album briefly and one song off of that, just because I think it's a, it's interesting how, how I'm thinking at least, and that's No Rest for the Wicked, the song. And it's on their self-titled album, um, or off of their self-titled album, Cage the Elephant. But what's really interesting about the song, if you listen to this, pair that next to Beck. Listen to Beck and listen to Sword and see what you think and how those two songs sound next to one another. And I think you're going to be like, well, if you're not a big Beck fan, that won't matter. But I, I love Beck. Um, and what he does is pretty interesting. It's very much along the same lines as what Cage the Elephant does. So just kind of do a cross comparison on your own. But I think you understand what I'm saying, because if you really like Beck, you really like Cage the Elephant. That's really what I'm kind of after. Another tune you might be interested in listening to just to kind of get things moving for you on Cage the Elephant is uh, In One Ear. Uh, it's a very different style, but yet kind of similar to No Rest for the Wicked. And I just think you'll, you'll appreciate that. You may not like everything that Cage the Elephant does, nor do I, but I think they're a real solid band and they got a lot to offer. And give it a listen just to see what you think. And overall, I think you'll be impressed with the band. Um, they've been around only since 2006 and it's kind of a really kind of interesting way of going here. So in 2006, they kind of formed and by 2008, they had hightailed it across the, the high water there over to England. And that's where they've been residing and writing. But, uh, believe it or not, they're not a band out of California, the Bay area, <laughs> like I normally pick. Uh, they're from Alabama or, or not Alabama, Kentucky. I'm sorry. Kentucky, Kentucky. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think they're, uh, a good listen and i think you'll be impressed with that so that's my pick of the week uh, they just put out a, a new album back in june of 2020 so it's just really out there and it's called color of change so if you're looking for something a little different that you may not have picked especially if you're older like myself and you really like your classic rock and roll but you want to see what's happening in today's music world this is a good band to check out so there's my pick of the week jim what do you got cooking yeah my pick of the week this week is arcade fire they are a, an indie rock band out of Canada, and they've been around since 2001. Um, they put out their first of five albums in 2004, uh, and like I just said, they've, ne they've now put out five albums. They're a very interesting band. They have, um, like I said, they're indie rock, but they're, uh, they incorporate, again, a lot of different elements, a lot of different styles of music. They play a lot of different instruments. The, most of the members, in fact, I think all of the members are multi-instrumentalists. So you'll see them playing sometimes uh, drums on one thing and then uh, guitar on another and keyboards. They bring a lot of elements of uh, electronic music into it. Um, it's, it's like a contemporary progressive rock type outfit and they're uh, all five of their albums have been up for major major awards they're very um, um, when you listen to the songs they're complex but they're approachable and I, that's what has really drawn me they're very melodic uh, but at the same time there's a lot of stuff going on in in the songs that keep your attention from listen to listen i would suggest uh there are two songs maybe to 
um, to kind of wet your feet if you're not familiar with this band. One is called Reflector, um, which came off of their fourth album back, I think, around 2013. And then there's another song from an earlier album the uh, called Black Mirror, which is quite different than Reflector. Black Mirror. Black Mirror. It's a different kind of an arrangement. So uh, if, if you want to get your feet wet with Arcade Fire, I highly recommend them. They, um, they're, they're less known. You, uh, Reflector may have been on the radio when it came out a little bit. You may hear it a little bit on, say, an alternative rock station. But uh, they're not really heard very much on the radio. And so definitely worth checking out, though. And that's my pick All of right. the week. Cool. All right. There you have it, folks. You have Cage the Elephant and Arcade Fire. And that's our pick of the week. So enjoy. Check it out. And we'll check you out next week. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.